the lighting one just good. That's good. Oh, it's That's nice good. and clear. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Good night, good night, good night, y'all. Hi, y'all. We're just gonna, hold on, let me just turn this up. I don't wanna press anything then that munch. Okay, yes, we're good. Live and direct for- Hi, Chef Nate. Hi, Nate. Please join. <laughs> <laughs> Am I, hold on, let me see if I can send them the invite. Okay. okay hello. 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 How are you? I'm blessed. I'm blessed by God's grace. How's everybody doing? Everybody's good. good. How are you? Wipe your camera screen a bit. It's a bit fuzzy. Oh. So, yeah, wipe your screen. Is it okay? No, your screen. Wipe the camera part. It's a bit fuzzy. Are you using your phone? It's frozen. Yeah. All right, guys, it's like everybody, welcome to Lash and Sip. We're just waiting for our guests to get. Yes, get ready, technical difficulties. Yes. Um, soon to be fixed. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah Nate, but wipe your screen. Yeah, okay. Yeah, just wipe your screen where the part is, just wipe it a little so it's nice and clear. Okay. Yeah, that's better. That's better? Yeah, yeah. just wipe your screen, Nate, because you're a little bit fuzzy. Oh. Right, yeah, just you. hello, people, lash dolls and beauties. How is everybody doing? What is it? Kevon underscore Smurf join. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Big zebra one. Thanks for joining. How's everybody? How's everybody on this Friday night, guys? I know this wonderful. Yeah. Thankfully, the weather's good. Oh, how was your week, by the way? Honestly, fuck, my week was good. It okay. went by nice and fast, just yes. the way we no, like it. <laughs> how we like it goes by fast, but when it comes to the weekend, we wanted to slow down. Oh, my God. The weekend's going to come and just pretty oh, much. Nothing. Okay, I'll thank you today. Like, Is it okay? Um, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, me. perfect. Right, Definitely. About that. It's okay. Fabby underscore TH18. Hi, hon. How are you? Thanks for joining Lashes. Mm -hmm. So everybody, dolls and beauties, we do have a very special segment today. Yes. Um, the Fluff and I have a very special guest, uh, Chef Nate, uh, who will, who's obviously joining us for our first mukbang. Yes, yes. A long time. Yes. We promise him. This time Wait, I'm happy. <laughs> 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 the white paper. <laughs> so guys, we're gonna do a little. Rundown of what we have. Exactly. And, you know, introduce Nate. The Fluff and I are just going to do our usual banter. And then we're going to get Asha right. Nate to so, yes. tell us a little bit about himself. Then, uh, what's it called? We're going to introduce yes. the food that he did send to yes. us. Prepare it nicely for us. And then we're just going to critique yes. it. Get him to tell us about, you know, what inspired the cuisine. Yes. And all of that good jazz, and then as me and Munchie eat and stuff yeah, our face. Munchie, we have to do our normal introduction. I can't think it's all my God. God. No. <laughs> we were finna see how you were. You were asking me how it was. It was good, actually. Same like you. It went Same. by pretty quickly. Okay, that's fine. And, you know, just another weekend. Like, like, you do. Exactly. I'm happy that we got through it. Same here. Same here. So, what lashes are you wearing today? A caramel. Hey, from our young Fire, step of line. Step of line. Eh, 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 eh. Yes. Would you hold this? Yes. Your hands are nicer. What? <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> yes, y'all. Get yourself up here. Your yes, caramel. caramel. Step of lashes. You gotta Chef get those, man. Girlfriends that may be interested. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do have our wonderful lashes. Hey, Susu. What's up, love? Trust me, their lashes are amazing. So people are they try to get their, their business going very well. Tap into their lashes. You know, check them out. <laughs> some juice that has some beer. <laughs> and I'm just sipping on some cranberry grapes today, <laughs> my friends. Yes, okay. guys. All right, guys. So we're gonna get right into it. Yes. So Nate and I have been friends for a very long time since um, high school. Yeah. Okay, so I, I yeah. Well, I met Chef Nate um, through my cousin Letitia, okay. uh, her Kenyan name Nanajwa, right? Mm -hmm. And she and um, Chef Nate were really good friends. Okay. So we all ended up meeting, I think, one time around Jeffries and Jeffries, yeah. uh, Finch and Sentinel, right? 
so hi Chelsea. Yeah, and honestly, um, everyone like Nada and I have been friends throughout the years. Like, very humble gentlemen. Like, just very inspirational and just very dedicated. And it doesn't. One thing I like about me, Fluff, is he's very, very humble. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah, very, very humble and. I'm I'm trying to be good at reading energy. Yeah, yeah, he's very yeah. humble. Calm, calm yeah. I can I can see it. And no matter what, like throughout the years, honestly, Fluff, he's always kept me in the yeah, know in terms of what's what happening. He's, yeah. So a couple years ago, um, Nate doing his usual check check up check ins yeah, on me, right? And he was telling me, Oh, Bernice, you know, I'm getting into the chef thing. You know, I'm just gonna go after my passion. You know what right. I mean? And Fluff. I was like, yeah, Nate, like, good idea. Go for it yeah. and just keep at it. You never know what can happen. Exactly. That's true. That's true. Well, so, fast track. <laughs> we are here now. Like, a lot of amazing things has happened for this wonderful young man. Hi, my lash underscore Angela. How are you? And, you know, like, he, he, he's expanded. Unfortunately, he ditched us. He used to be in Toronto. <laughs> now he's in where? <laughs> oh, Calgary. One of them. <laughs> Unmentionable what places. Know. Upset when I told him I'm in Calgary. Yeah, what are you doing in Calgary right now? I'm really upset, Fluff, because knowing that we have a friend that yeah, exactly. exactly. You know me, I'm all about the cheapness and the freeness. <laughs> I'm not the guy who loves food so much too, so I would have jumped on the same bad wagon she's on, you know? So being that we love cheapness and freeness, right? Oh wow. No, I have to I have to call myself up. Well. So when he said he was like becoming a chef, I was like, Oh yes, this benefits you yeah. great. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I automatically started thinking of free food, but oh all jokes God. aside, guys, like I'm just very proud of Nate and where he's yeah. come from. Like, you know what I mean? Following his yeah. passion and becoming like a, a top notch yeah. chef yes. in the you know. Yeah. So it was really like important for us to have him on. Plus, I've been dying to taste the food uh, which he sent to us all the way from where he is. Yes, where are you again, Nate? Oh, I'm in Carb right now in Alberta. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. Calgary, Calgary Alberta. Yes. Alberta. It's been sent here to us. Mm -hmm. yes. That looks amazing. I promise and I, I didn't fail you. I promise that. Oh, you never did not. Hey, Let me tell you this. <laughs> I'll, I'll be in trouble. I'll be in I will give it to you. <laughs> I'm a foodie, you know? I just, is it Jide or Jade? Jai just underscore, oh, Jai underscore oh, Joy. Hi, <laughs> sorry if I butchered yeah. your name. Who looks amazing. I just recently added Chef Nate onto my Instagram, and I'm telling you guys, I would eat the food, the food to the screen. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. So if it looks that good, I'm assuming it tastes that way too. Oh, and you can smell it. I wish you guys, yeah, there was so, smell of visions for you guys yeah. to smell it. So guys, um, enough of me rambling on about chef nate i'm just yeah. gonna get you guys to just hear him talk right. a little bit about himself his history and if fluff and i have some questions right we'll ask him a few questions and then we'll get straight to the yeah, eating please, yeah, please don't take eating make sure you go first before bernice make sure you go first before bernice eh? <laughs> so nate, um without further ado please um introduce yourself tell us a little bit about yourself so we can get straight to your food yes <laughs> uh first of all i just uh, want to thank you uh ladies very much for you know for this important day uh, for allowing me to be in a privilege to be here this evening so oh. well, thank god for that uh and you know oh. And I know your business is really going to expand. I know that. For yes, sure. amen. Yeah, yes, amen. Yeah. Uh, I'm Chef Nate, and uh, cooking has been a passion for me. You know, uh, the story goes back from when I was back home in Ghana. Actually, oh, okay. my mom, uh, my mom was a chef. Oh, okay. Yes. okay. My mom was a chef, and uh, she actually yeah. used to own yeah. here. They would say it's an omelet station. So she used to do like, you know, oats, like eggs and few. Right. Well, like breakfast type of thing. Yeah. And normally she yeah. does it around, like, she starts around like mid evening, like let's say 4 p.m. going up. Yeah. Okay. And she starts to cook it. And my grandmom, too, was a cook. Oh, oh it's in your yeah. Okay. yeah. So the, my grandmom will start like a brunch. And so my, no. some oh, of my uncles were fishermen. So she used to go and get a fresh fish, come in, and then cook it. And then you use oh, the, the, fresh, the ones that she dried and she used them to do like a sauce, which is shit. And I used to see all this stuff. Yeah. So it, it, it's in the family. You know? Yeah. Uh, it's in the bloodline. My dad too was a cook. Because oh, my dad's okay. mom 
uh, did own a little restaurant as well. Okay. So from, from the mom's side, from the dad's side. Yeah. It was, it, yeah, it does everything intertwined. It's in the genes. It's yeah. in the genes. It's in the blood. Okay. And going forward, I remember at the age of 23, I used to love cooking. Even at home, yeah. you know, I'll help my mom and all that. And one time I was in the kitchen, my dad is like, you look just like your grandfather. I'm yeah. like, what do you mean by that? He said, yeah. well, I need to tell you a story. He said, well, to let you know today, I've been quiet, but I was, I was waiting for a time because I've seen the passion in you. And he said, well, your grandfather was one of the head executive chefs oh. in Lego University in Ghana. Lego oh, University wow. in Ghana. I didn't yeah. know. I was like, wow, this wow. is interesting. Yeah. So, so he, he went on saying that, so you are kind of the, the third generation continuing the legacy. Yeah, yes. yes. yeah. So it, it it it's in the blood. It's in the family. Right. Um, I, I just I love when I used to see my grandmom how she would be creative with different things. Yes. You know, and in the area, everybody knows her. You know, she would feed people. You know, make yes. sure people are good. Very humble. So, um, I grew up a bit with her, and those kind of things transitioned into me. Yeah. You know, yeah. By the grace of God, and even. Coming here in Canada, I remember sometimes my mom has to cook. She would just call me to the kitchen. Yeah. You know, cut right. the onions, cut the tomatoes. And I have three brothers, so sometimes my parents have to go to work. And then they give yeah. me the responsibility to cook for all of them. Yeah. So sometimes she will cut some of the stuff, leave some, and make me do it. Yeah. So, was, uh, and so not knowing, the training was started right there. Yeah, the training was from when you were young. young. The training was started right there. So in every way I, I go, I always give glory and thank uh, my mom, my dad, for being a blessing in my life. Yeah. Um, for, you know, mm -hmm. setting me that path. And then... Um, becoming who I am right now. And yeah. um, in, in within that transitioning as well, I even did computers in school. I oh, okay. Yeah, I've, I've worked with schools where... I used to do installation. Benindrop adult, uh, ben adult Education is right by Seneca College. Oh, I okay. Work there. Yeah, as a computer uh, technician, I used to install this stuff. But the cooking thing will not leave me alone. Yeah, the cooking took yeah. over. It so when, when, did alone, you know, know, when did you know? When did you know? Families, sorry, come again. When did you know while being, while doing your other profession, yeah, the technician, when did it click to you that you're like, it, you know it what? It really clicks to me at the age really around 23 going to 24. okay and okay though i have been you know doing the cooking here and there but that right three it clicks in yeah and so yeah. doing uh the computer technician it was still the cooking thing was still going on so my dad is like suggested you know what well, maybe why don't you try doing a chef training yeah. yeah so i transitioned to windsor i moved to windsor oh, okay okay yeah um i was also at the same time playing basketball too I yeah think. and so i yeah. had the tryout and everything as I was doing the course, the course was very heavy, so I have to give up one. Yeah, yeah. So I don't give on the basketball and then and doing the cooking course. And by doing the cooking course, man, I never regretted. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because it was already it was already your calling. It was your destiny. It was the calling. It was, yeah. That was the definitely. Process. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Well, we're glad. I'm very my taste buds are very yeah. nasty. <laughs> <laughs> so in winter, what I started doing is. There was a particular dishes. Um, I think I gave you guys one of those. It's called kinky. And yes. In in my tribe, it's it's and what tribe eating tribe a lot, like and even <laughs> what tribe throughout our country is ate a lot. So that's something my mom taught me how to do it from you know, okay. my grandmother passing the recipe on. You know, yeah. from ideas. And then there was a sauce too. I brought there the uh, the sugar. Mm -hmm. It's a black sauce. Yeah. I have that there too. That was something else was passing on to me. So. Yeah, yeah. You know, right there. Yeah. And so when I was in Windsor, I started doing little caterings, um, you know, cooking for students. And that thing was getting very deep. And it was a hit. It yeah. Was getting very deep, you know. And yeah. As I carry on, there are certain things that through school, uh, working at different places. So before I finished school, I applied for um, Casino Windsor. Oh, okay. So by the and how was that? Board, yeah. It was, it was amazing. I got a job. And they said I have to do a test. Uh -huh. so I have to do a black box. And what is it? So black boxes, for example, they're going to have a box. Ingredients is in. You open a box. You have some time to create Whatever. an ingredient. Oh, okay. It's okay. Just like um. It's like uh, those cooking channels. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Come like up with some channels. Yeah. yeah. Just 
like chop. It was just like yes, chop. that's it. So you, you they'll they'll give you the ingredients, and then you have to create something. Oh. Okay. So they said, yeah. So this is what we're gonna be doing. I said, sure, no problem. It's easy. There was I think yeah. four of us or three of us in in the kitchen. So we came in, and then they give us a the time opened up, and you know I whip up some. Some coconut shrimp, some sauces. I did some. Uh, I think uh, it was a bechamel sauce yeah. with some pasta. Yeah, slice of like a bit of salted mushrooms on top. And oh, the time frame they gave us, I end up finishing the time frame they gave us. So the guy who was actually beside me needed help, but it was a competition. I didn't want to do. He said he wanted to do some. So I end up helping a little bit. Yeah. So the chef walks in. It's like, huh? Are you done? I said, yeah. Everything is I'm pretty much set, ready to go. It's right. like, so I was coming out and he held my hand and shake my hand. Welcome. Congratulations. I said, uh, okay. He said, yeah. He said, yeah. I'll see you very soon. It's just, oh, wow. how you made the creativity, the time spent. Yeah, it was amazing. It's just us watching. It's like, you're a person who can create certain things. And yeah. That's another hint that wake me up. Yeah, yeah. Come to different things. Yeah. Short and behold, I entered there. I worked at a casino for seven years. And oh, wow. I worked at every station. Oh, it was all awesome. different kind of cuisines from right. Greek, Italian, Asians. It was all it was international all around. So, so you got I was, there, I was very humbled. Yeah. Um, I was very humbled and then I was walking down the hallway and there was a chef named Chef Howard. Mm -hmm. Everywhere I go, I mention his name. He saw me and he said, young man, you just started here. And I said, yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What do you want to do? I yeah. said, you know what? I really want to take this cooking to a different level. You know? Uh -huh. He said, okay. If you're humble, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work with you and I'll teach you. I yeah. said, yes, sir. From that day, that day, he took me as a son. Oh, to cater his Yeah, outside work, he used to do catering. So this mm -hmm. is where the, that's where that, that gift. But I, I was able to really see that niche of gift of catering. Yeah, yeah. taught yeah. me everything. You yeah. travel to me. You travel with me to the U.S. You take me to the U.S. When I'm doing oh. something, you teach me. Do this, that, and that is where that fire started. That's uh, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. He was actually leading me on, and you know, Chef Howard, wherever you are, I thank God for bringing you in my life. And for me, the little I'm yeah. always gracious with the little things. Yeah, so you have to be very gracious with the little things. You know, yeah. Chef that was there. A uh, couple chefs like Chef Herman, um, Chef Senji's, couple chefs. I always give praise to them because yeah, yeah. it was a journey. Yeah, and yeah. they were part of the story. Yeah, so it for me, it would never leave me wherever I am, wherever I would be. Yeah, yeah. to mention their names. Yeah, that's you know. So being there, there for like seven years, and then I transitioned back to Toronto, and then it kicks in. Yeah. It um, kicks and started doing caterings. Um, I went to festivals. I did couple yeah. of festivals, and there was a, a festival in Kitchener. So mm -hmm. they, they reached out to me that time. I had a catering that I was planning for. It was like one week to the uh, to the occasion, and the ladies like Chef Nate. You know what? I've heard of you. Listen, mm -hmm. can you make it a time to come? And I said, man, oh man, I'm booked. I, I she said, Nate, just try. Yeah, find yes. a way, fit in your schedule, and just come. Yeah, I said, all right. So I said, okay. I checked my schedule and I said, okay, I'll be there. So it was a Saturday, it was a Friday, no, you know, Saturday and Sunday. And so I got there the Friday. I did, uh, I did some jollof rice. Um, yeah, there's some jollof rice, I some chicken, you. salad, and all those stuff. And actually, God was so good. Few people came by, they tasted it, and then there was a couple of people who were eating it. So somebody asked them, yeah. Where do you get this rice from? He said, You yeah. see that guy there? Go there. Yeah. Yeah. The next 15, 20 minutes, I, I, I could look up. I couldn't catch up. The lineup yeah. was like, I couldn't catch up. Wow. Wow. That's wow. Amazing. So the lady who was organizing it was just standing beside, she was smiling and laughing like, Nate, yeah. right. that's why I wanted to be here. Yeah. So, the Sunday, I told him sometimes Sunday I have church programs and stuff, so it might take me some time. He said, Nate, you need yeah. your best to come. So I was preparing and she make a phone call and she called me like, Nate, guess what? I'm like, what? People are here lining up waiting for you. Waiting for you. Wow. I told you that I might be, Nate, please just 
Hurry up and go. Play this, but yeah. get a ticket oh. this year. <laughs> That's amazing to me. That's like, amazing. it's a oh, blessing. Yeah. 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 The journey has been interesting. The journey yeah. has been very interesting. I've collaborated with a couple of chefs, uh, like one of my good friends, Chef Ben. I've worked with him. We actually, uh, there used to be a, a restaurant in Woodbridge, mm -hmm. actually. What is it, it was called? Like, kind of like Afro. Um, is it 25 or so? 25 at Woodbridge. It has like a lounge. I don't know if they changed the name now. It was in Woodbridge, yeah. I started ben, with it. Coming does he have a sister? Who? Does he have a sister? Oh, yeah. Ben, probably no. Oh, okay. It's worth thinking about it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we did yeah. something that would do like infusion of African and a bit of uh, Greek, a bit of, oh, kind of Asian yeah. style, like having in a sudden, you know, having like the fried fried chicken with the biscuits, you know, having yeah, like southern, a, southern uh, sweet southern chili yeah. shrimp, yeah. having mm -hmm. jollof, doing like a paella, seafood jollof, like we're going crazy. Oh, you wow. Know, kicking off and all that. And throughout all that, as I was doing my catering as well too, I had uh, a couple of friends, I had a friend who was from Venezuela, and uh, she even taught me how to do paella. It's so I learned, and I'm always humble to learn. You know, yeah. I my time. I'm humble to learn. So uh, I took my time. She taught me, and then I added to my 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 experience. So there was a time that they had like a couple of rich people that they had like a a, a private place up north. Their mm -hmm. own land. Whew. They have a boat. They have a beach. Their own. Wow. Uh, I got a call that night. You want to travel? I'm like, uh, go where? Okay. You want to travel? We need you to cook for us. Just come with us. Said, okay. I book a wedding. They got me a place. It was like a, a nice um, private property that they have that they are creating. Yeah. It was a beach boat. I got there. They took me in the boat, took me around the beach. She was like, hey, you're going to have a good time. Wow. And I had a good time. Yeah. Yeah. What? Some, uh, yeah. The next morning, I was, oh, by the time they woke up, I make a Spanish um, arepes. Arepes, it's like how we have the corn, the corn flour. Yeah. But they have kind of grains a little bit with a little bit of sugar and seasoning. Okay. So you mold it and you can bake it or you can fry it. Oh, it's like a breakfast okay. for a lot of like Venezuelan or Spanish and all that. Yeah. So yeah. I just created something using like eggplant okay. and some vegetables to make like. And they were like, holy man, like, can you do everything? I said, yeah, yeah. I give glory to God. And, oh, I whipped them something nice. It was a nice weekend. So now the story begins to go far. So yeah. I actually got an opportunity to go to uh, Barcelona. That was before. Barcelona? I yeah. I was, oh, wow. was something that I kept for so long. I was going to do an infusion African um, masculine science with food. So taking African food, like, let's say, take um lamb or goats transform to something different yeah, yeah. using food science yeah um, so i was gonna go that was when the COVID hits and then i i stepped back on that but oh. in within that it's still been a blessing yeah it still has been a blessing um, yeah going forward i got a, a job with uh a movie actors so i ended up oh. working in the movie movie field yeah oh wow so, um if you go on netflix suit there's a movie called Suit. Yeah. Two, three years ago, I was actually behind. I cooked the food for most of the actors. Are you this serious? This part of my resume. That's yes. amazing. I'm, I'm just humbled and, you know. That's so good. Yeah. We, the, it, wow. It was shot around amazing. in uh, North York. Yeah. And that was you there. We, we used to have a place that we used to do all the shooting. So we used to go there. Uh, the company that I was working for, amazing boss that I have. And I had a chef there. Uh, his name was Chef Greg. Tough. And yeah, helped me a lot because yeah. the first day you saw me, it's like there is something about you. I don't know, but there's some gift about you. I'm gonna be working yeah. with you. And he was one of the chefs that everybody used to be scared of, but I was the one that used to vibe with him most. Yeah. <laughs> and anyway, he was passionate when, about you. Yeah. yeah. See, he, 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 yeah. The energy yeah. that I break every single day, it never changed. Yeah, yeah. It, that's, that's, it never that's, changed. Yeah, no matter how somebody is down, I will come in and it's cracking a joke. What you have to do with yeah. that. So, my boss it's is like, hey, man, you're not leaving this company, you are staying. I said, Listen, I'm gonna own my own company too, okay? <laughs> I'm just joking, right? It's like, you go, let's you go to Africa, my buyer, my buyer, I'll come there and find you. I'm yeah. Italian, I'll find you there. <laughs> I chat.
Wow. It, it was it was a good experience. Yeah. And from that from that uh, company, that is when I begin to also learn how to create different sauces. Oh, and okay. I tell you, this chef taught me a lot. Yeah. Um, some of the actors they, they eat different yeah, things, right? The, uh, uh, this is the this green is, pepper sauce. This is green as pepper. Well. Um, sauce. Once you can oh, taste wow. this. Like mango chutney. I do like pineapple yeah. hot sauce. The pineapple, pineapple hot sauce, uh, but hot sauce. of like a Chinese infusion sauce. Yeah, that, that's the pineapple uh, chutney. It's with their pal uh, paloris and okay. such and such. Like okay. they sit when then they use these a lot. Okay. The pineapple chutney and stuff. Type of yeah, once, once you, you just balance it with like, if you do like barbecues, you know, those are the times that like you have like chutney. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and, and I do from like, even from for example, you yeah. have like, if you have like a lamb, you know, you do like a nice roasted lamb, it will, yeah. it will balance so good with oh. blueberry hot sauce. Blueberry. Oh, blueberry. Wow, I never heard of that. What the hell is, what? I've never sauce? heard of that. Yes. There was, um, I did, uh, I did it for a program. It was, I think, a bridal shower or something I created. Uh, I did like a blueberry hot sauce. And I balance with uh, with lamb. Oh my goodness! Oh, wow. Yeah, so this uh, maybe one of them that you might have to do. Yeah. Let me in the love sample <laughs> this lamb dish. <laughs> so the next samples you're gonna be getting all this stuff. You know, oh, from from pineapple, yes. mango, yes. Papaya, <laughs> uh, fig. You know, um, I use also th that's where I got that experience from. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so. Like when the people are doing barbecue, sometimes I used to do the sauces and I'll go and bless them and they'll try it. Like, wow, you know, I had a yeah, flavor, uh, yeah. yeah. flavor for you. Yeah. And he's like, bro, man, you should be looking into this. And, and yeah. it's funny, like, I tried. She was just at an event and I brought a sauce and she said she wanted to try it. So she got my contact and she called me. So I gave her some. And he's like, oh my goodness. Like, I'm using a whole, my family are using it. Uh, it's like, yeah. uh, it's, it's, it's just, it's a blessing. Yeah. So this is where I, I got that experience from the sauces. Yeah. Having wow. the background or the experience of cooking the African dishes. So I kind yeah. of blend all all together now. Yeah, yeah. everything I'm just that you learned. Yeah, yeah you fuse it. it. So, too. This is where I am right now. Um to the point where as I as I transition here to uh to Calgary, I also did something here. Um there was someone who connected me, they wanted to do like a pop-up. Oh, okay. So you know, the for an African cuisine has been always something with the Caribbean has been something I always want to push. Yeah. So by the grace of God, um, I end up creating some different menus for them. So we do oh, like infusion okay. of African cuisine. So, and we don't call it Mom Africa. Oh, you call Mama, Af Mama Africa? Africa? Yeah, it was like yeah. a, a pop up. So which means not yeah. like a month or two months. So I went from doing like using the uh, the nigerian suya so yeah. i use the nigerian suya actually to create a pizza so we end up having a suya pizza oh, you don't wow. see that anywhere oh, yeah. yeah suya pizza yeah you are you uh, serious i even end up using uh doing uh creating um suya wrap as well too oh wow i would yeah. like to try i, that. I yeah. did some tasting of other things that i'm working on i even end up using jollof to make a wrap chicken jollof chicken wrap That's oh story so it, it's, it was very innovative. Um, I also use yuca. Oh, that would so good, man. I use yuca, which we uh, call it cassava. I mean, yeah. Caribbeans, we know that. Uh, I also use that to make a pizza. And so I, I kind of flash it, kind of flash boil it a bit, cut it nice and thin for presentation. And then I use the, um, the cassava leaves to create like a pesto. Oh, wow. I, we couldn't have enough. In a restaurant, yeah. So you have, the, you, have the dough, you have the pesto, then you have the cassava on top. And then I Trust created me. an aioli. So when you finish, before it goes out, you drizzle the aioli on top with a garnish of green onions. Oh, wow. Mm. Nay, we're yeah. going to have to, we need a sample. Yeah. Uh -uh. This is hearing Don't worry, it'll be coming. It'll be coming. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be coming. Yeah. So, wow. So That's this amazing. is the journey that I'm on right now. Um, as, um, I, I remember when I, I spoke to Bernice about it, that this is what I wanted to do. It's like, you know, Nate, keep on. Yeah. 
Sure. Because you know, I I know what you're capable of doing. Uh, don't it's be definitely your calling. It, it, it is. It's really it's good. Just, it's definitely your calling. And what I like about like, the things that Fluff he's doing, he doesn't even also, even some of these things I'm learning. Yeah. Like he normally shares everything with me, but like I'm even learning about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like man, you have to. Yeah, like you're very humble, but you have to let because it also exposes you, okay. right? And the, 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 the different, stuff, yeah. but even the people that when she make connections with, right? But like it's good to yeah. put it out there sometimes, yeah. Chef Nate, just so that people can see that mm -hmm. it's not just mm -hmm. you know that you have expanded and you have made other connections for other chefs in other markets yeah. to also reach out to you, right? Yeah. So that's very, uh, that's very good. Yeah. And right, so right now, actually, um. There is about uh, five or four stores. Actually, I carry my sauces now here. Yay! And some of my products. Yeah, God is good. That's all. I just... Uh, remember the Sunday, Bernice? I told you I'm, I'm going to deliver something on the Sunday. Yeah. For the product. I just got a call today. The lady told me, yo. It's like, Nathaniel, the, it is done. Can you make more? Oh, like, my God. Yeah. So remember what I was telling you? I'm sort of thinking about... I'm like... Nay, it needs to go to Fresh School, North Frills, Food Basin. Yeah. That's, that's so the next there, step right They have all those international Caribbean Afro foods, right? Why not yeah. introduce your products there? Yeah. So it, it's right now in the process. And I've had certain customers that have actually uh, reached out to me. Of actually, Even today, i got somebody who reached out today. I'll uh, be making some okra stew. Oh, and okay. the will ship it to them, exactly. actually. And so, I want everybody to know that, you know, wherever that you are, you can always get Chef Nate's uh, Yeah, it's true. You know, and I you connect me, you let me know what you want. Yeah. I'll prepare it out, package it very nice. Yeah. As well, yeah. I'll ship it to wherever you are. So, yeah. that is how I was able to, you know, conclude and ship this food for you guys. And this, so this is the bridge, this is the stepping stone. This is but a very inspirational show. Yeah, I mean, like, very inspirational From show. where you started from, like, yeah. very humble beginnings mm -hmm. to where, yeah, where we are now, like, it's, it's yeah, really it's amazing. amazing. When she just pour yeah, some of this. Yeah, bon appetit. Give yeah. it a try, then. Uh... Wait, I think she's just gonna, yeah, we're gonna start. I think, Fluff, we should start off. Honestly, we have a lot to start with, girl. Yeah, we're gonna go by the list. So the I first jollof, thing on the menu. I also have a jollof sauce actually coming out too. I have the jollof sauce. We didn't get that the sauce yet. <laughs> I, I, don't worry, next time we'll, we'll, we'll come. Next time we'll come. We'll it will there. definitely be coming. So guys, I'm just gonna let you know the menu that um the fluff and I will be trying for. Okay. Yeah, it's really oh. the fluff and I will be trying from Chef Nate. So we have his jollof. We're gonna have okra stew, or we I say okra. Um, people say okra. Anyway, stew, African style chicken. That's our type of uh, fried chicken. Then we're gonna have the shito. We're gonna have the the mango, <clears throat> the mango hot sauce. Unfortunately, guys, upon delivery, it broke. Uh, so uh, that's the only sauce that we don't have to really sample. Um, but we have the. Pineapple chutney, green pepper sauce. And then we also got like kinky, which you guys will see. And then we have like ice kinky, mashed ice kinky, which is the liquid. So for every meal that Fluffy and I are trying, Nate is going to describe it to us what inspired that meal uh -huh. and all of that as the Fluff and I are tasting. Uh -huh. And then once the Fluff and I are done stuffing our faces with that meal, we're going to critique Chef Nate, give him our feedback, and let you guys know how everything is. All right? So right now we're starting off with the jollof. Uh -huh. ah, so careful. I almost... Guys, I'm going to try and show you guys. So this is the jollof from and Chef Nate. And actually the, uh, the chicken, the uh -huh. all the yeah. spices that I use is a spice yeah. that I've created my own. That will all be coming out as well, too. Oh. I created all the spices okay. myself. This is amazing. Wow. So, guys, I cut up the chicken mm -hmm. into little chunks for me and the fluff. So, okay, fluff, you, you can start. Bit, uh, you can start on her pepper sauce, which you want to put underneath the whole thing, you know, because we're sampling. So, mm -hmm. Chef Nate, please start with the jollof. What inspired this recipe? How did you come up with it? As we're tasting, well, you know, 
No, the jollof is, is being a cuisine that is well very known mm -hmm. through um, West Africa in different countries mm -hmm. in, in Africa actually. So, uh, me coming from Ghana, it's it's been a pleasure that you know what we have different cuisines. We have mm -hmm. a lot of cuisines in Africa. So it was my desire to push to push it for the world to know about it. So you know. <laughs> Just like how we eat in Ghana, but I just kind of tweak different ways I do my sauces, which mm -hmm. number one, it, it will be something that will be healthy for you as well. So uh, I have certain ingredients that I have incorporated in there, you know, mm -hmm. um, that even some of them to the point where it actually, um, it, it builds your new system as well. As, mm -hmm. same, sometimes there's other ingredients as well too that uh, can help you from you no, know, if there's a, if there's anything like you know cold or something like that, it can help right. you to feel out of that as well too. So uh, okay. I just created in such a way that it will be a healthy aspect. And I have two kinds that I'll be I'll be the sauce that's going to be coming out. I have uh, mm -hmm. one that it will be called uh, it's it's a we call it it's a locust beans, but it's mm -hmm. fermented right. But mm -hmm. home, we call it a dawa dawa. It's very very healthy. So I have that kind of jollof sauce that will be okay. coming. And you're going to have this uh, regular one also that's coming out as well. Uh, the chicken, I call it an African chicken because what I did was I created uh, uh, different spices uh, using over 10 to 15 spices from all the continents, um, from all the continents in Africa. I used different spices to create it. And, and so normally that's the only spice actually I used to do all my meals. And this is a spice that's okay. going to come out that if we have to do like soups, stews, chicken, mm -hmm. fish, lamb, you can use that spice. It's going to be like all purpose, A1, that you can use to, you know, infuse your, your, your food as well. Mm. And then mm -hmm. the lot, you can balance the shit with it as well. Also, the we I have the okra. And the kinky to eat. I don't know, let me just eat as much as I can. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, why are you bugging her right now? She, she's busy, okay? This is a sampling. We're trying to get everything. Say, in. She, talking. She, she's I'm busy, you know? Yes, tell her. I can barely see. Mm, it's mm. not really good. What mm. do you like about it? It's not greasy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's dry, you don't but see no greasiness on there. Like, yeah, it doesn't have a lot it's of. It's so grease. moist. Mm -hmm. Nice and moist. And look at how even the travel. Look at how like, it has mm -hmm. traveled and come. That's but true. Look at my mood is on the way. From since she held the blade, I mean, you, know, <laughs> you can see her. I'm inside eyeing her Maya too. I'm so, like, you know, you, know, yeah, out there, you, you have to understand that when you make that phone call to me and I ship your stuff for you, you're going to know that you're getting authentic. Mm -hmm. authentic, authentic, authentic. And look at how even this has traveled, but look at how moist it is. Mm -hmm. The flavor doesn't change. Mm -hmm. uh, it's mm -hmm. not dry, you know. Um, it's perfect. It's yeah. like really good. And the chicken to the chicken is still nice and stuff. It's it's nice. well cooked. It's mm -hmm. not overcooked. It's it's not dry because when chicken okay. is dry, when you're eating it, you don't really taste it. Mm -hmm. It's nice and moist and cooked well. You, when you eat it, you can taste all the spices. That hit yeah, the right away. That's the thing yeah. I love. It's very flavorful, yeah. and all the spices were right away. Very, very, very flavorful. Mm. Look at you, mm. 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 Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I'm you No, 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 it has almost like a jerk chicken vibe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It really does. Honestly, man. So we're going to rate the foods out of 10. I'll definitely do this at a 9 and a half out of 10. Yeah, definitely. For me, this is a definite 10. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And even the only thing that's the salad. Jollof, with right? You can add a bit of the, uh, the shito. The mm -hmm. yeah. The mm -hmm. yeah, you can take a bit mm -hmm. and add it on there. Oh, that gives a very nice twist. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. It's good. It's amazing. Trust me, Nate. We did that. Yeah. Okay, shall we move on to the next one? Yeah, we're going to sample the... Is it the kinky? The kinky, not guys. Yeah, you can eat that with the okra, too, yeah. Or even the... Uh... 
I wanted to add a fish to it, but uh, sorry, I know Bernice, Bernice be like, uh, where is it? Don't worry, next time. <laughs> yeah, I'm really, I'm really like fish too, but next time, um, okay. Nate, we're going to order a fish. Okay. And like, you know what I mean? Just so that we can, that, uh, for our next sample order. Okay, no mm -hmm. problem at all. Leave her alone. It, it, it does look good, Zaria. It's true. Mm -hmm. it, it's really good, Zaria. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to put it down and move on to the next meal, but guys, be a taste after because we were... <laughs> we'll sit here and eat the whole thing. It'll be very hard for us to move on. Guys, just give us a few minutes. I'm, we're going to move on to the next dish. Okay, I'll come back to this uh, off camera. Yes, it's true. <laughs> mm, just put mine over yes. here. Mm. Of course. All right, guys. So the next thing we're trying, so I gave it a 10 out of 10. Yeah. Everything from the jollof to the yeah. chicken, perfect. I give glory to God. Honestly, mm -hmm. Nate, it's very, mm, very flavorful. Mm -hmm. Very, very flavorful. The rice also to me, it. I don't know if it's how it looks. It has a couscous type of look to it. You know couscous? Yeah. It has it's that nice. look to it. But it's very. It even tastes healthy. Yeah. It, it's yes. really good. Yeah, and it's very, very good. With the jollof, normally when I cook, I don't even rush it. I just let it, let it simmer. Yeah, yeah. The whole thing is you want this, you want to trap the steam. Yes. Because once you trap the steam, that is what yeah. actually it will, it will cook yeah. it very evenly. Yeah. In Jamaica, we would say the rice is like shelly. Yeah. yeah. Because it has okay. Yes. Texture to it. Yes. But it tastes good. When you take out okay. your your gravy. Oh, yes. All right, guys. So the next sample on our list is the okra ah, yeah, stew yeah, yeah. or okra. Yeah. So this one has crab, shrimp. It has crab. It has goat meat, and then it has yeah. shrimps. So it's very delish, very delish. And then this is the kinky. Um, I cut it up, and this. But I'll show my, you how it uh, looks this like. This is one of my products that is really on high demand that is selling here right now. And in Jamaica, you guys have that. You call it a different Ooh. name. You have yeah. that in Jamaica. Yeah, there's a name you call it. The stew. No, the uh, the kinky. Um, uh, dukuno. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, dukuno. Yeah, like yeah. Yes. Yes. Because there's, there's a Jamaican lady who buys a lot. Like, yes. yeah, she eats that. And a lot. they wrap like, blue draws or something like that. They yes. call it, but they they call for that. Anything, but we call it's it like a blue draws thing. Yeah, we blue call draws, it. Dukuno. They call it. Yeah. So this is how the the dukuno looks like, and then I unwrapped it, and then I cut it oh, up for like that. Yeah. for the fluff and I to try. So here it's it is. Very, um, it, it it gives you a lot of energy because it, 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 there's not that much fat in there. Mostly right. It's, it's water that you use to cook it. And it's very, yes. very healthy. It's, it's yeah. like a boiling. Yeah. Yes. Boiling. Boiling. Yeah. You guys have that. Yeah. Yes. There's a, there's a couple of Jamaican food. I eat that a lot. They wrap it in a leaf, too. Yes. There's oh, two kinds of leaves. They wrap it in a leaf. Yes. There's two kinds of leaves. You can do it in the in the corn husk. And or the banana leaves. Also do it in banana leaves. Yeah. Yes. 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 You can also do it in banana leaves. In Ghana, leaf well. we have it in the banana leaf, right? In... We have one in the banana yeah. leaf, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Now we're tasting the okra stew or okra. Oh my God. Oh. And the <laughs> AKA Dokuno. And that, that's one of my top selling products mm -hmm. here in, in, uh, mm -hmm. in, uh, in Calgary here. Mm -hmm. all, the, all the sauces, all the stews. Mm -hmm. It's all my uh, my spices that I created. That's all I use, I'm using to cook. All this, uh, all this, uh, all this. Nay, what I like about your kinke, aka dokno, it's not like it doesn't have that bitter. You don't taste any bitterness. Yeah, the and bitterness is not apart. It's something I don't like. Yeah. yeah, it's not breaking apart. It everything yeah. is holding together. Mm -hmm. so, it's firm. Nice and firm. The texture mm -hmm. is just just right on. Honestly, Nate, I have to say, you really have done yourself. Very good. And you, Very you good. with okra, too, you got to know how to cook yes. it, and you got to know how to preserve it. And look at how... Yeah, it's and crunchy. And look at how how far it has come, but still, yeah. the mm. flavor is there. Everything is balancing together. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. This is really delicious, Nate. Mm -hmm. Absolutely delicious.
It almost reminds me a little bit of a seafood boil mm -hmm. chicken with okra and yes. just the palm and the tomato. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So normally, it's and so it's fun. you use um, we use the, the, the palm, palm nut, the palm nut mm -hmm. oil. Mm -hmm. That's when we used to make it. But then normally, mm -hmm. before I do it, I would do like a confit. So when you do a confit, just to break it down to explain a little bit, it's like you can take like garlic, uh, you can mm -hmm. take like herbs, and then you infuse that into the oil. And so what happens is that now the oil that if it has a higher cholesterol, when you infuse the garlic, you infuse the herbs in, into that oil, now it mm -hmm. breaks it and then it, it evens it up. So now the nutrients in the herbs and the garlic or onions, it infused into the oil. Now then I use that to cook. So then now oh, which means yeah. the cholesterol in there which is high, it has actually break it down. So as you're eating it, there's not much that cholesterol in within that oil that you're using. Uh, so I, wow. I, I also did nutrition at school. So I use all those those Stuff tools to put all my in, cooking. Into your dish. My cooking. Cause this is really, really good. I have to say. Yeah. Yeah, you can I'm even like you can eat this too on its own. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the with the kinky too, it's really good. Yeah, with the kinky, you're not getting that sour, mm -hmm. fermented taste. Yeah, it balance it up. Yeah. Sometimes, uh, even the kinky, people will eat it with a chutney. Mm -hmm. uh, for, here, they will say it's a chutney, but for us, we call it moku, which mm -hmm. is pretty much uh, like tomatoes, uh, ginger, uh, mm -hmm. onions, a bit mm -hmm. of habanero. You blend it together fresh. And then you you add a bit of the uh, the shito, the black sauce with mm -hmm. it. So you can do then you can do like a big fish, or you can do like a fried fish to mm -hmm. eat with it. And normally eighty percent to ninety percent back home, that's how they eat it as well. Yeah, okay. yeah. And some of them will also eat it with coconut as well too. Mm. Mm. Not bad. We can't forget that we're doing it right now. Start focusing on stuffing our faces. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> yeah, Nid, I have to say, so rating this a 10 out of, um, I would give it a 10 out of 10. I would again give it a nine and a half. The only thing is that I don't like too much of the oil. Yeah. Even we cook our stuff too, but the food, like flavor wise, definitely a 10 out of mm. 10. Maybe. Like I said, even the Kanki, I'm more of a fufu person. Oh, yeah. But I can fufu, eh? say, Yes, yeah. I do. But I would say like <laughs> this, but this, like you said, I know sometimes can cake gives off that little sour. But yeah, and tastes yeah. bitter. Um, From the fermentation, yeah. Yes. But once you balance it with the stew. But this one, I can honestly say, I could just probably just, just eat it by itself. Mm -hmm. And I'll be okay. Yeah, I'm on, even with the shit mm -hmm. and whatever. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is really good, Nate. So having the okra stew, even with the crab and stuff. Mm -hmm. Even the goat meat, like it's really and it's yeah. nice and chewable. It's not mm -hmm. hard. It's not fatty. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nate. I'll give you a ten out of ten for this dish. Mm -hmm. Honestly, Nate, you you've all done yourself. I could even plate at this point. So. Yeah, like seriously, it's good. Mm. All right, guys, we're gonna try the. Is there more things? Yeah, we have to try the sauces. Okay. The only oh, one that what? we we but we tried. The I tried the green one too. On my food, on my. Mm. You can even put the green one even on some of the. You can put some of the chicken as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I tried it. Or even let's can say maybe you have like uh like a fish. You mm -hmm. have like this it's lamb mm -hmm. or something. You want to bake it? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Normally, you just wanna give it a little slice so that way it it. it you know what they were saying? Fried yam. Yeah. Fried yam, dipping it if in the you fried, do fried yam. yam. You see this sauce? That if you have a fried yam, you have that sauce. You just put like in a ranikin. You put some in a ranikin, and you take the shit out in a ranikin. So you can do like maybe like a fried chicken or like a right. fish, and you balance with it. My goodness. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be a different level. Oh <laughs> my goodness! <laughs> if I lived at your house, hmm. Munchi, I would be five hundred mm -hmm. pounds right now. Mm -hmm. And even the green sauce too. If you have like a fried plantain. Or you can do like um yeah, this is a green sauce. Green pepper sauce. Green sauce. Uh, if yeah. you have rice, you can eat it with it as well too. Wow. Um, if you have like even for example uh samosa, you can also eat it with it <laughs> as well. Um, wow. If you have roasted plantain, you can eat that with it. Uh, with the fried plantain, sauce, you can also right? eat that with it as well. Mm -hmm. 
This is really good. <laughs> so it can be used for many things. Yeah. It could be used for many things. All right, guys. So I'm going to be trying the pineapple sauce, the pineapple uh, chutney, <laughs> mm -hmm. which is this one. So now the, the, the reason why you have chutneys is let's say you're eating something or you're doing barbecue or something that is hot, spicy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, the chutney kind of pulls it down. Yeah, we, it would just... Mm -hmm. So it's like with my cooking, I try to create things that, okay, the spicy, the sour, the sweet, sweet and then the to balance it. Yes. Yes. So you know you this have is the fish. pineapple chutney in our little bowl. You can put some even on the chicken. So I'm going to try chicken. some. Yeah, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna dip my chicken in it. Okay, so mm. it gives like a, 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 a sweet, mm, mm, mm. a flavor, a full texture. Uh -huh. This is really good, and then infused with the pineapple because pineapple is sweet and bitter. And it's, yeah. So you got a, a yeah, but it's yeah, a balance. very good balance. Uh -huh. Like if, if <laughs> let's say for example you have like short ribs you're doing like ribs barbecue mm -hmm. or even let's say like you're doing like a sausage barbecue sausage where you can put someone that's how you just like how you put a relish you mm -hmm. can put that as well as well too. you have yeah. a burger you can you can you can put some yeah, chutney on there as well as a, as a side dish mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Much. It's really good. even can you put, <coughs> you put it you can put it on hot dog yes mm -hmm. as well yes <laughs> Like so, water. Uh, yeah. I've done uh, programs and events for people, and you know, sometimes, and normally, I, every time I go, I surprise them. Sometimes I'll go and I'll, you know, surprise them with, like, let's like, say, um, papaya. Like, I would set out to even take papaya <laughs> and make a hot sauce out of papaya. And then mm -hmm. I'll create a menu that, that will balance with it, you know. I remember there was a, a construction company that actually took me on. So I did a jerk chicken, and then I use, um, it was a, uh, it was a fruit. Was it mango? I did like a mango kind of chutney to balance with it because you know Caribbean they have the mango, they have the pineapple. So I created something like that yes. just to balance with the uh, with the meat. They have like steaks, oh, wow. and ribs, and then they were like, "Wow, this is something different." Yeah, it's really good. Don't... So out of ten again, I would give this a nine and a half. Mm -hmm. In terms of the pineapple, it's really good. And, and I've never had anything like this before. Yes. More times I would kind of stay away from <clears throat> something like that. Yeah, because it's not stuff I'm used to. It's not something that I, you know what I mean? But I would definitely try yes. this. Like, if I go somewhere. Yeah. I, I I would have it more of an as a dip for me. Yeah. yeah. Dip yeah. like chicken or, or something. Yeah, yeah. normally it's for like the chicken. Most of like meats. It's yeah, really good. meats like that, you know. Yes. Mm. And you, know, you know how sometimes kids also sometimes they want something a little bit sweet if something is too spicy so yeah. you can balance that with that as well too yeah definitely. and this way the sauces here so this way sausage you can dip it yeah in it's, it's it's very good yeah very very good so yeah guys we sampled the pineapple chutney mm -hmm. nine and a nine and a half out of ten yeah. for me first and it's a new flavoring and new yeah so and i don't really like trying different things so it's good. Yeah, this is really good. Um, very, very good. The green. What did you think about the green? The green one is also very amazing. Yeah. I, really, I know I like anything kind of spicy. spicy. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's very versatile. It's, uh, yes. Very, very versatile. It has a spicy yet vinegary. Yeah. Vinegary yeah. kind of. Yeah. yeah. And it's very tasty too. It is. This this tastes like something too you can even you know like when you're just seasoning up meat. Yeah, bro. Like you can just put it on there. And yeah. Then if, if, yeah. If you like you have rice, if you have yes. like rice, you can just put it on there. If yeah. You potatoes. Um, it's, it's, you it's, have potatoes. It's you can use it. You uh do like a roasted potatoes and herbs. Yeah, you can put it on there. Yeah. It can be like amazing dip to just eat with it. It's really really good. Then the shito is really good, guys. We for me and so right now yeah this is one of my brand that's actually it's one of my top selling right now i have it at five stores here mm. in calgary yeah that uh I'm, I'm providing to the stores and then they're selling it yeah. so watch out for this that is really amazing. and how long does shito go for when you have it in the bottle like that like how long can it be preserved oh, for oh, shito can go over a month because you know why you know how you have so the concept is you know how you have the oil on top yeah yeah so it holds it becomes like a marination so it let it stay, and let it stay on the shelf life for so long, and apart from that too, you cook in a slow process. So which means now that all the water in there is evaporated. Oh, 
that's the trick so then oh, okay. now it, it, it becomes like a soft down now it can because when there's a lip, there's water in there it's easier to get spoiled yeah, so yeah. That is, that's why even even you know in the kitchens when you marinate meat we have the oil on top and then stops at the bottom yeah so yeah. when that settles it can last it last longer oh, oh okay. so shelf life it has a long shelf a life long shelf life. Life. open it that's once you open it and i guess air probably goes in that's when you said last maybe about a month when you, when you open it you make sure yeah. that when you have to dip it you dip it with a dry spoon make right sure there's, there's no way. In there, yeah, yeah, dry right. spoon. always dry spoon the moment a little water goes in there it cuts it off the, the shell like yeah okay yeah okay. so as I'm, yeah. um as i'm doing right now i have uh someone who is one of my my it's like a mentor to me um i call him uh, manager okay. one one of my very good friends he one second mate steven uh c zero eight what? yeah wants to know what stores uh he can find your products oh okay it's right there it's in calgary here type the name <coughs> of the stores in, in calgary and send your information in terms of how they can connect with you oh he's in calgary. Right Yes, put it in the chat in the live me. Okay. Yeah, this is a uh, very tasty. Imagine it makes it a type of one like if you're with your partner and you want like a private dinner, we can always order. Yeah. Just <laughs> here. This would be very good. Yeah, like it, it's just like a fusion like how he says he does a fusion um of Caribbean, African, coconut shrimp and the, you know, whatever. Oh, me. I could never live at your house. Once <laughs> double thing, here we go. <laughs> I do not get to see my house. Just feed me and I'm okay. All right, guys. The next thing on our list to try is the mashed um ice cream. We call it ice cream. Okay? And this is huge, a huge, huge beverage. So it's ice cream cake basically, basically boiled king cake. Oh, right. right. Water well, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's it's a porridge, and then you add milk, sugar. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. So there's yours. He brought us two. Okay. So <laughs> this is the ice cream cake. Nate calls it mashed cake cake. Yeah, and actually with yeah. this too, I have created different infusion, but I wanted you wanted to try try the regular one. Uh, the next time. Yeah. I have from, try the regular uh, one first. Mango yeah. flavor. Yeah. I have coconut flavor, vanilla flavor. Oh wow. I have ginger flavor as well too i have uh, papaya flavor i have um actually pumpkin seed oh and wow actually yeah i did sample for so somebody gonna... and that was one of the top they chose i'm, I'm sure i have one of my clients he, he came on or so i used to do it for him before i left so he's like you, you better come back buddy and just to break it down with this drink here let's say you're going to work you wake up in the morning you're going to work for a long day and all that for example, right. you know how you have up Gatorade, and you know the mm -hmm. same when you play sports yeah. and all that. When you have this drink, it keeps you, it holds you as well. And yeah, um, true up even people. So I'm trying to actually introduce to people who play sports because they have a special time of the, the, the nutrient that it has in there. I'll give you an example. There is a guy who played for Arsenal. He's from our country. Um, what's name again? The name is I can't remember. I forgot the yeah, name. Again. Thomas, fans, Thomas, 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 Thomas Thomas. Thomas. Yeah. Actually, he's from the tribe that I'm from. So mm -hmm. out of just jokes, sometimes he used to make jokes that you know what they used to call him the machine. Because yeah. He's just so much energy. And yeah. Well, you know why? Because I eat kinky. So it's like mm -hmm. they're not making. Yeah. But to be honest with you, it's real. Like boxes, uh, boxers back home who box who does boxing. This one the food that they eat a lot. Yeah. Now when you now like these them for yeah, well, kinky food, food um banku. Like if you're looking to gain weight and maintain and just be those are Solid. the foods, yeah, the earthy foods. Like they're very very, very strong. Mm -hmm. I would rate this a ten out of ten. Because I love I love ice cake. Like it's something Especially that I have it's nice and chill. Yeah, six like, out of ten. I sell a lot when it's nice and chilled. Ice. Yeah, maybe if it's a cool yeah, because I took it. Know, it like, like a Jamaican party. And then honestly, once you get used to it, yeah, oh, 
It's it's really good. I make it sometimes too here. Um, okay. Yeah, when we have the king king, you just boil it. Yeah. And blend it, you know? But I find this one gives a little bit of the sour fermented taste. Yeah. Like we're talking about yeah. more than this, so maybe that's why for me. And like I said, maybe if it was colder. It mm -hmm. kind of reminds me like how we would have like Irish mash or a Irish mash, right? Yeah, Something. it has to be cold. Yeah, it has to be cold. When it's cold, when it's more better. cold or mm -hmm. more of a, or you put a lot of ice in it, it just, mm -hmm. it gives off a different taste. Yes, so maybe it was a bit cold. Yeah. I think I would enjoy it a little bit more, but yeah. For me, this is a drink I, I you always love. This, 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 this one is, uh, yeah, very, yeah. Something that I love, drink a lot back home. I love, love, love this. And you know, another one, Nate, that I would, I'm going to order from you. It's like rice, but I forget the name. When oh, I think of it, I, uh, I think so. Bokina. It's like yeah. a rice porridge. Yeah, it has like a, the, the uh, normally, actually, that one is, is made out of, um, what do we call, uh, millets. Oh, okay. Maybe millet. okay. hey, I'll do another section of millets. I'm telling you, it's, it's the next rice. Millets has an oh amazing, my God. The amazing one, like, how do you make it from back home, right? Yes. Like, how, uh, yeah. A lot. The millets rice is like, a, kind of chunky. Yeah. It has an amazing yeah. nutrient in there. Yeah. Amazing nutrients to, yeah. to have. So if you have another section, I'll, like I'll do a section of that. Like traditional Ghanaian food. Don't like worry, Flo. That's why we have Shafiq. Yeah. Maybe like one try, day, yeah. if he's in Toronto, we can do a live when yeah. he comes here, Flo. Yeah, and make folks. something. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know? I would love that, to try the real traditional back home. Yeah. Um, Because I'm a big fan of Ghanaian food. Honestly, Nate, she can live in Ghana and she'll be fine. I, I, I love it. Plus, you have a problem, man. Eh? One Jamaican, like, when me, this, I, that, this, that's what connected Buffy yeah. and I, Nate. Like, she was like, oh, I, I want to eat Ghanaian. I'm like, yeah. you eat Ghanaian food? Yeah. And then Nate went. Oh, no, seriously, yeah. when she came over to our house, like, even my mom yeah, was looking at me. We like, were both where did you looking at like, from. What's that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. where is from? <laughs> you should see her like and we're just looking at her because we're like, like soup. This and the funny thing is I love Ghanaian soups more than even like Jamaican like the Jamaican yeah. soups are, really? like the Jamaican soup I don't like. Nice. I don't know, I don't like the smell, but if I get if I go like on a Friday night, like if you don't cook, she, I would go buy my she likes the, my trust, soup. Yeah. My peanut, peanut soup. soup. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. Some, like, you know why too? You guys base you guys your base is a lot of tomatoes. tomatoes yeah. I love tomatoes. Yeah. I love tomatoes. Yeah. So why I'm so drawn to it, but I have a love for, for love, the food. fact that you're you're Jamaican. Yeah. Your spirit is um, so Ghanaian. Like, in there. <laughs> she's one person. Yeah. Like we can go to all the Ghanaian functions yeah. and I love 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 just food. yeah. She'll eat and I just I don't know I don't know what it is, but I just have a love for the food. It yeah. Just tastes. The pepper sauce, the everything. She has to make the pepper sauce for me every time we have a gathering at my house. <laughs> like, yeah. I love the food. I love yeah. Fluff the peanut everything. soup. I just, I, I really enjoy it. So, Ghana's calling me. Mm. Okay, I shall be there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and with all this too, I mean, the as I said, yeah, they're not gonna wanna let. She's not gonna. <laughs> They're not gonna let her leave. She fits perfectly. <laughs> perfectly. And, and the thing about it too, like Ghanaian and Jamaican share the same culture. But yeah. It's just yeah, pretty much the same culture. Yeah. 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 And also it's it, it's it's different, but honestly for me it just gives me a different I don't know what it is. Yeah. Cause even like when we cook our yam, boiled yam I don't eat. Yeah, but, but they put it in it. soup. Yeah. But I'll eat fried yam when I'm eating Ghanaian food. My mom will look at me weird like oh, child what's of mine, oh, going on. But you don't understand, like <laughs> You know, it's, just, it's different. Even the fried fish, like I eat our fried fish, yeah. yes. But then when I buy I the Ghanaian one, yeah, it just it does something to me. And then I have to dip it in the pepper sauce. And you should see it. <laughs> I just wow. hold it with. Well, I don't know what it is, but no, it's 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 good. Thank That's you one of. Them. But honestly, Nate, your food is amazing you were meant to be put on yeah. as a chef and we're yeah. not i'm not saying this because we know you or to give you your stuff yeah i would tell her if it sucked yeah but obviously <laughs> Nate, the food oh, the sauces i mean if i was having an event and i could pay to have you there to cook i would yeah i'll be there yeah it's just that good. It's yeah that definitely good. we won't be paying yeah because <laughs> we know him yes bernie <laughs> I don't want her to start thinking that bluff. We have intentions of paying. I already no, told them we eat for free. It's good, and I would love to like taste more of your like 
fusion cooking. Of yeah. course, I would like to have more organic. Yeah, food, yeah but, but I want to try other things. A fusion twist and stuff. Like even the way you're explaining it, it's just making my palate, like my mouth water. Yeah. It's, the food for it to be coming from Calgary to here, and it still has flavor. Mm -hmm. It still has taste. You know, everything, the sauces, the presentation of the sauces in the bottle, like, it makes you want to eat everything. Yeah. So, honestly, Nate, big ups to you. Dude. Yeah, you did a really good job. Yeah. Amazing. Food is amazing. amazing. Really definitely amazing. don't regret it at all. Yeah. And I like the fact that you know what you're talking about. Yeah. You're not just yeah. talking nonsense in terms of how you came up with the food. Mm -hmm. Like, what yeah, you what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, like, you can tell you're passionate yeah. and... You're like one of those chefs that can literally cook with their eyes. Yeah. You're very passionate. Yeah. Like. I just come, I just get into the kitchen. By the time I see like six, seven hours, I'm just creating. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, just, I just love it. You know, it's just... Yeah. Uh, it's really, it's really, really God bless your future wife because she wouldn't need to go to no restaurant. Cook what? Please, what kitchen? Yeah. Me? I'll never stop putting in a kitchen. <laughs> I don't care. If I have a husband has a chef. I'll just be like, babe, what are you eating tonight? What am I eating tonight? Just don't worry. I'll whip you up something that you have. Every every day could be like something new. What? Because it will be coming with something new, new like you know, new cuisine, <laughs> new this, new that. I'll be like the fattest person on the face, yeah. you know. Yeah, he is a true chef. To be honest, yeah. even. Oh, actually, yes. that's one of my. Uh, that's one of my boys. I could be working at the casino together. Oh, okay. right. a long time friend. No, it's yeah, a we boys back in the day. Yeah, thank you He's for the I really, really appreciate it, Steve. Yeah, Nate, we have to say this is really, really yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. Really amazing. Honestly, to everybody, we wish you guys could have really smelled Tasted the it, food, yeah. taste the food. But reach out to Chef Nate. Um, yeah, if he can send it all the way from Calgary here to us, guys, and they came in one piece. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, the food is still good as long as you know you heat it up properly. Yeah. And whatever. Guys, it's it's worth it. It's really worth it. Yeah, it's definitely. worth it. I definitely mm -hmm. worth it. The sauces. Um, I'm not really into like the chutneys. And... Yeah, so you can forget to try. That. Yeah, and it's actually you like it, yeah. and you know it's yeah. really good. Like, I had, yeah. um, I, you. I had an event, and um, they wanted some, you know, grapes and all lamb and all that. So actually, I end up creating different sauces. So I remember when I think one of the one person came by and he's like, what, what, what is this? Well, what are these sauces? I'm like, I haven't surprised you guys. You guys try it out. Yeah. I left there with empty bowl. Oh, wow. See? They're like, wow. We never even thought of this. Yeah. Mm. Said, oh, you never tried it before until you said something. Yeah. So now you do it. Like, I mean, we all the entrance, mm. but it's like almost the same, you know? We'll, yeah. We'll, but, you know, just coming Steve. out and you know yeah. we're both oh, okay. our own. like last week steven um, I, someone reached out to me for a catering for suya Nigeria. yeah so that's something I said, okay yeah. so for 100 people i just want you to um give me a sample i said no worries mm -hmm. let me know what time what date i give the samples out in within two days or so they reply back ready to go mm. do i end up um Doing the suya for them, but the suya spice I created, I created myself. Oh wow! Okay, so I would really like to try it. Nate. Yeah. yeah. So the whole, yeah. With all this, the whole concept is, as I told you, Bernice is um, I'm working on it right now. You know, yeah. I come out that when people realize it's out, I can to get a place and have all this stuff. So you know, wherever yeah, you are, you need it. Yeah, you it's know, true. Nate. It, it can be shipped to you and all that. Um, yeah. yeah, so um, for me, I'm grateful. Yeah, yeah, just up yeah. things and, and just go there just to, you know, be a vibe and be a part yeah, of it. Part to of come it. support, you know, whatever he's doing, you know, endeavors you're doing. That's definitely. I was talking to him uh, about that. So we might be going yeah, in September to yeah. winter. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Having... Yes, oh, sorry, you reminded me about that. Yeah, um, yeah. they invited me for the. Uh, yeah. For winter. Yeah. It, uh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's North Africa. It's a competition, mm -hmm. uh, cookie competition in Windsor. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I'll be. I accepted it, and so I'll be going to Windsor actually for the competition. Yeah. You know, uh, creating some of my stuff, my stuffs for able to see. I was there last year. Last year, I did some of the jollof, and uh, after the ice cream cake, I end up making a mint ice cream cake, mint with mint. Oh wow! Yeah, and it was so like so elegant and it was just 
Um, I would like to try that mint yes. and ice cake because I'm so I used had, to just plain. Yeah, I'm sorry, he's made yes. I had about I think five liters or so, and I had those who were competing with me. They came and they were. I tried to try and, your food. And so I had one of the um, the judge was kind of watching. He's like, "Holy man!" So one of the judges' uh, daughter came by to try that like, oh my goodness yeah and so these are all stuff that you know i'm doing because you have to do trials and yeah, yeah. That I have to work with and work with and work with and i'm very patient to yeah get out there. so now by the grace of god once i have my store and i start pumping this out they know that the trust is there yeah you know what you are getting yeah you know so Definitely. um yeah so watch out for that uh by god grace and um, yeah, you know, just want to take the privilege to thank you all for inviting me today. And you know, oh, you for those, so uh, yeah. uh, one of my chef, my chef friend is there, Steve. I know he's there. This one yes, yeah. my good, good friend. He's yeah, a chef, he's chef well. too. I will love uh, to let you know. Maybe uh, one day, yeah. yeah, come and do a chef and chef contest, yeah. and then me and my <laughs> love to hear what how you guys know how you guys did. <laughs> no worries. No he worries. No worries. <laughs> no worries at all. The more, yeah. So you know, the more food um, we have, the better. <laughs> the, the more food we have, more <laughs> options. <laughs> Since Stephen is mates, right, he's automatically become our friend. So hey. more people. <laughs> Steve, I know you are hearing that, eh? <laughs> more food for us. <laughs> No, honestly, Nate, yeah, too, we want to thank you, too, for coming yeah, on to last show. Blessing us, story, yeah, blessing us with your blessing food. Blessing us with the food. Amazing, amazing, yeah. like Prof said. So hopefully we'll be doing another... Uh, to live in the next yeah. Day, two, three months. Or yeah, we're Nate yeah. and a few more of his curated cuisines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and just we'll let you guys know what it tastes like yeah. and when he's coming to toronto we'll also let you guys know so that yeah, you that guys yeah yeah. So, yeah you can connect so thank you so much stuff. um also for Probably. inviting me i really appreciate it and, and you know people out there check their eyelashes uh business is an amazing they do an amazing job support them you know check them out as well too uh right. thank you for giving this platform and this it's a privilege and i'm i'm, I'm grateful and i'm okay. thankful so it's only up from yeah nobody yeah. should hesitate if you need something um i can always work something with you let me know and yes. i can always get it for you and ship it out there for you so right now the journey has started so be a part of yeah. this and be a part of it's this story. Yeah. definitely thank you very much yeah. and uh blessings thank you Definitely. Yes. Thank you so much. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. That's All right, Lash and Sippers. Uh, the Fluff and I will be back in two weeks at our usual time. time. Place. So join us next week, uh, in two weeks, I mean, yes. for another segment of Lash and yes. Sip. So with thanks this. again, Nate, Miss Fluffy, and Bernie. And, and Chef Nate, thank you so oh, very much. Sure. We're very gracious and very grateful. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye.